Oh boy. In and out, in and out, in and out. Hi everyone, Ali Stroker here. I'm so excited because today I am getting crafty with House Beautiful. They sent me this amazing craft that I'm gonna do without the instructions. So wish me luck. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. So here's the deal with crafts. I used to do a lot of these kits as a kid. We would every summer go down to the Jersey Shore and our next door neighbors would bring all of these fun um, kits. I'm pretty crafty, so I'm real excited about this. First step, opening the box. <laughs> oh, geez. Instructions, goodbye. Okay, so this is a loom. Okay, now I'm getting hot. <laughs> Here we go, this, the stress is getting to me. These were the pieces. This, 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 and this, uh-oh. All right, we're just gonna use this at first. This is so hard, no instructions? Let me just leave a little on the end. And we're gonna go in, out, in, out. Um, this kind of stuff makes me feel so comforted. It's crazy. I am not at home right now, which is kind of hard because I, um, I have all my crafts at home. I have this huge bead box that's like, um, it's like a tackle box and it's filled with beads. Uh, I also have a string box because I love to make friendship bracelets. Anyone who knows me knows this because I probably have made you one. But we used to, again, make them at the beach in the summer and it was just so fun. Wow, well, I'm having trouble now going in and out. We were like really into painting shells and selling them which is big business down at the Jersey Shore. Let me show you how this is going. What do you think? One of the things that has been really special about 2020 is becoming an airy real role model. And being an airy real role model is um, getting the opportunity to represent airy um, and also they are giving me a platform to create change the way I want to. When I was interviewed about this earlier in the year, um, I talked about how amazing it is to be given a opportunity to be a role model because you have to remind yourself every day that people are watching. I am making change every day in the world by being my authentic self. And so one of the ways that I was really surprised when I became an airy real role model is looking at my own practices. It made me think like, how could I improve or what do I want to do to become a better version of myself? I didn't realize that being a role model is also an opportunity to work on yourself. I, this past year had just one of the most incredible years of my life. I got to play Ado Annie on Broadway in Oklahoma and I won a Tony for the role. And I think, you know, throughout my whole career, I always had dreams of being at the top of my industry. And I didn't realize that what that actually meant was just working as hard as you possibly can. You don't know what you don't know. <laughs> and I did not know how hard it was going to be to do that show. Um, but I had such a great time. It was so, so, so incredible. It ain't so much a question of not knowing what to do. So one of the things that I have been really enjoying the past few weeks is I've been giving voice lessons to a young girl from my hometown who's in eighth grade and we've been doing it over Skype and it's just been such a ball. It's kind of interesting when you become a professional at whatever, it's, it is so important to continue to stay in shape. So like take lessons, take acting classes, but um, you can get kind of lazy about it. So I haven't taken a voice lesson in a while. So I'm very excited next week I'm gonna take a voice lesson. And it was sort of inspired by teaching these voice lessons because I was like, gosh, this makes me feel so good. I'm sure I would love to be on the other side of it. It's very funny because I love to be 
right <laughs> at things. So the no directions thing is really making me feel a lot of things right now. If I were to go back and work on a role again, what role would it be? And I think it would be Ado Annie again because it was a role that really challenged me because I've always felt like Ado Annie was sort of played as a stereotype and I think it's easy to judge her as being not that smart. But when I'm with a feller, I forget. But I think she is really smart. At first when I started to work on it, I was coming at it from a very, um, not close-minded place, but I was like, oh, I know who this girl is. And then I realized very quickly, I did not. I needed to find her in rehearsal. And that's one of the most amazing parts about being an actress is you get to discover a character. And for me, I always wanna make them feel real, like somebody who you would know. Even though I'm saying this now, but like after we closed the show, I was like, I could never do Oklahoma again. <laughs> because after you do it so, so, so many times, I think we did over 300 performances, you start to feel like, okay, I can't do this anymore. But if I were to do it again, um, I would really enjoy and love working on Beto Annie. because she really has a lot going on. We're doing well, I think. Definitely not a short craft. That's okay. I think that's the point. You sort of have to stick with it, right? It's scary to speak on behalf of a community that you feel a part of, but it's also really exciting to realize that your voice is being heard and that people are looking to you to use your voice. And one of the ways that that is true is with accessibility. I'm in a wheelchair and so getting around can be challenging at times and in New York City, not everything is accessible. And so to speak up about places that are not accessible, um, we had to make the backstage at Circle and Square where I did Oklahoma accessible. These were all moments that felt very vulnerable to me. Um, they were very scary, but I knew that it was my time to do that kind of work um, for my own self and for my career, but also for um, anyone who's, who's coming up behind me. Okay, we have a bit of an issue. I, um, these are starting to come out which is a sign I am okay with that. I think this might be a gorgeous bracelet, but I think I'm going to now take it off the loom and see what happens. I don't know, you guys. There's, there's definitely a step that I'm missing here. This is you know, starting to get a little bit dicey. <laughs> Um, no directions. Should we just do it? Should we just take it off? Let's see what happens. Oh my God, you guys, it totally fell apart. Look at this, look at this. Oh my. Oh! Oh my gosh. You guys, it didn't work. It's okay. I had a lot of fun. I'm so glad I did this. And the next time I do it, I may look at the instructions. Thanks for getting crafty with me today. Uh, be sure to subscribe to House Beautiful if you want actual instructions for your crafts and your DIYs. And even though this didn't turn out exactly as I had hoped, I had so much fun and I feel so much more relaxed. Have a wonderful day and Thanks for watching.